We like to say praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord again. We're going to begin our morning worship service. We're going to go before the Lord in prayer. Asking everyone to stand, those that can. And I ask the Lord's blessing upon the service on today that he would move in our lives. We thank him for this opportunity and this privilege that he have given unto us in this day. And so, that, so shall we that bow our heads in a word of prayer? <clears throat> Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy you have shared upon us, O oh God. Father, we thank you for waking us up this morning, closing our right minds with the activities of all our limbs, O oh God. We thank you, O oh God, for your goodness and your mercy, O oh God. You extend in this day for us, O oh God. And so, God, we ask, O oh God, that you would forgive us for sin, forgive us for evil thoughts that, have that entered our minds on today, let your will be done in our life, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you, O oh God, for being the God that thou art, O oh God, the God that is able to do exceedingly and abundantly, and above all that we would ask or think, according to the power that worketh in us mightily. Father, we ask, O oh God, that you would move upon those that are going through on today, God. In the name of Jesus, those that are afflicted in body, O oh God, we're praying, Father, that you would touch them on today. In the name of Jesus, O oh God. Those that are in the hospital on today, God. We're praying for them, O oh God, that you would move in their room, O oh God. Uh, that you would touch, heal, and deliver, and set free. Father, we thank you, O oh God, for even looking over those that are in the homes. God, be with them on today, God. Give them a a joyous day on today, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Those that are incarcerated, Father, we're praying for them, Father, <coughs> that you would move by your spirit, oh God, that you would, oh God, make a way for them on today, that they will be able to, oh God, to glorify you on today, even though, oh God, they are in incarcerated God. They, oh God, is ill able, oh God, to open up their mouth and they are Ill, still able, oh God, to give you praise, oh God, even in spite of what they're going through. Father, we ask, oh God, that you look upon those that are homeless, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God, uh, they need a way, Father, and you're the way maker, God. Uh, so make a way for them on today, God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, those, oh God, that are going without on today, God. Uh, oh God, oh God, they don't have a meal, Father, but oh God, you're able to touch someone's heart, Father. You're able, oh God, to make a way for them on today, God, uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. God, uh, God, we thank you, oh God, for being who you are, God. Uh, you're able, oh God, to do all things but fail, oh God. Uh, because there's, uh, there is no fair, failure in thee, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, so God, move in the midst of us on today, God. Uh, let your anointing, oh God, flow, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, oh my God, in the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of Jesus on today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. God, we thank you. Oh God. God, we thank you on today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. You've been so good, God. You've been so good, God. You've been so good, oh God. You've been so good, God. And we praise you on today, God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Work it out in our life, oh God. In the name of Jesus, oh God. Move in us, oh God. Uh, from the crown of our heads, oh God, uh, to the sole of our feet.
feet, oh God. Uh, let your anointing uh, move in this place, oh God. Uh, move like never before, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh 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 God. Uh, hey God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, you move, you move, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh God. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Uh, yes, Lord. Give us the boldness, God. Give us boldness. Hey. Boldness, God. Oh, God, do it, do it, do it, God. Uh, loosen the tongues, God. Uh, loose right now, God. Uh, in the name of Jesus, oh, God. Uh, loose, loose, God. Uh, 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 loose. Hey. Loose, God. Loose here. Loose here. Loose God. Loose. Hey. We praise you, God. We praise you, oh God. We praise you. We praise you, oh God. We praise you, oh God. Yes. Mmm. We praise you, oh God, for moving in our midst. And so, God, we pray, oh God, that you continue, oh God, to move by your spirit. That you continue, oh God, to touch, heal, and deliver. And set free on today, God. Mm, God. Watch over those, Father, that are yet on their way. Keep them covered, Father. Under your precious blood. And those, oh God, that are absent from us on today. We pray, Father, that you would meet the needs in their life. On today, God. Whatever, whatever they're going through, God. Whatever they're going through. You meet it, God. You meet it, God. In the name of Jesus. And so, God, we thank you. And we praise you for what you're going to do in our midst on today. We pray your blessings, oh God, upon our pastor. We pray, Father, that you would use him like never before. That you would anoint him from on high. That you would let your spirit, oh God, rest, rule, and abide in him. In this place, oh God. And those, oh God, that shall bring forth the songs of Zion. We pray, Father, your anointing. Hey, God, your anointing, God, be in them and through them. Your anointing, God, that makes the difference. Your anointing, God, in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. amen. Say amen again. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus paid it all, all to him I owe. Sin has left a crystal stain. He, 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 he was. Yes, why as no
white as snow I said Jesus church he paid it all yeah. and all uh, to him I owe um, sin uh, has left the prince to say is white as snow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We praise God for this day. Thank God for life, health, and strength. Saints, we made the wake-up call. Hallelujah. And that's enough right there to say, Lord, I thank you. Hallelujah. For your loving kindness, your mercy, and grace towards us. We thank God for this day. Psalms 47. And one says, oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. For the Lord most high is awesome. He is a great king over all the earth. Oh, clap your hands. Hallelujah. All ye people, shout unto the Lord with a voice of triumph. In the name of Jesus. At this time, Elder Desmond Faison will read our affirmation of faith. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank See, you. We say praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord, everybody. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our house of prayers, the affirmation of faith. Amen. Found in your programs. Thank you. Amen. Amen. It says we affirm our faith in the Bible. We believe the Bible to be the inspired and only infallible written word of God. We affirm our faith oh, in you. God. Yes, we believe there is one God, our Heavenly Father, creator of all life and eternal existence. We affirm our faith in the blessed hope. Yes. We believe in the blessed hope, which is the rapture of the church of God, his people who are in Christ at his return. We affirm our faith in sanctification. Yes, we believe in the sanctifying power of the Holy Spirit by whose indwelling the Christian is enabled to live a holy and separated life in this present world. We affirm our faith in Jesus Christ. We believe in the redemptive work of Christ on the cross, yes. that it provides healing for the human body, mind, and soul according to your faith. We affirm the reality of freedom in Christ. It is our freedom that Christ has set us free. It is our freedom that Christ has set us free. This freedom is a gift of God yes, in Christ. It and it manifests itself oh, yeah. in a right relationship with God and others. It is not a private gift to be used selfishly, but is given to serve the community and the world. Amen. This is our house of prayers affirmation. Come on, clap your hands all over the room. Amen. Receive our praise leader in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We praise God again for you being here. We praise God for everyone that is here. Let everything that have breath praise the Lord. We thank God for our flaggers. Hallelujah. Everything. I don't care how you pray. Just praise him. Hallelujah. With your mouth, with your hands, with your feet. Praise God. Hallelujah. Let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise him. Let all the people praise my name forever and forever. Oh, 
Come on, church. Hallelujah. Let all the people praise Praise the Lord, Let all the people praise Him. Oh, yes, we will. Yes, we will. Let all. Just praise the Lord. 
forever and forevermore. He'll lift that burden forever and forever more. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, he's worthy forever and forever. Evermore, 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 evermore. Oh, forever and forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is my life and my salvation. Yes. Saints, we got to praise him. In the good times, guess what? And even in the bad times, hallelujah. Hallelujah. When you feel like it, and even when you don't feel like it, he's worthy. Saints, he's worthy of our praise. If it had not been for the Lord on our side, saints, where would we be? Think about it. Where would you be? Where would you be, saints? The Lord is our keeper. He's the shade under the, uh, uh, on his right hand. He keeps us in the midst of our storms. Hallelujah. Yes, he does. When we want to take things into our own hand, the Lord works it out. That's why we owe him praise. He kept us another day. So many didn't wake up this morning, but we're here in the land of the living. Another chance. Grace. Hallelujah. New mercies. Morning by morning. New mercies we see. All that we need, saints. God's hands. Not our hands. God's hands has provided and we praise God for he is our light and our salvation. The Lord is my light. And he is my salvation. Oh, the Lord, he is my light. And he is my salvation. I say the Lord is my light and he is my salvation. Oh, whom, whom shall I, whom shall I fear? I say the Lord is my light. And he is my salvation. Oh, the Lord, he is my light. And he is my salvation. Oh, the Lord, he is my light. And he is my salvation.
your heart. Hallelujah. We, oh, he's gonna strengthen thine heart. I said he's gonna strengthen your heart. He, oh, he's gonna strengthen thine heart. Hallelujah. 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 Oh, hallelujah, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Hallelujah. Because he lives, saints, we can face our tomorrows. Hallelujah. Because he lives, because he lives. all fear is gone. Yes, it is. I know who holds my future, saints, Lord, because he lives. I can face my tomorrow. You can face your tomorrow, saints, because he lives. All fears, all fears are gone. Because I know who holds my tomorrow. And I know who holds my hand because he lives church you can face your tomorrow mother you can face your holiday because he lives all fears are gone and because I know who holds tomorrow oh yes I do yes I do yes I know who holds who holds my hand there are some things about my tomorrow I just don't seem I just don't seem to un to understand I don't understand sometimes but I know I know mother I know I know I know who holds my tomorrow oh and I know who holds who holds my hand hallelujah Hallelujah. At this time, there's some things. Dominic, Sister Dominique is going to come and read our scripture for tomorrow. This morning. About my tomorrow. Oh, yes, it is. Hallelujah. I just don't sing. You understand. I'm good morning, Saints. Good morning. Hallelujah. Of, of the scripture for Psalm one thirty eight. I will praise thee with my whole heart. Before the gods will I sing praise unto thee. Yes. I will worship towards thy holy temple and praise thy name for thy loving kindness and for thy truth. And and thou has magnified thy world thy word above all thy name. In the day when I cried, thou answered me and strengthened me with strength in my soul. All the kings of the earth shall praise thee, O Lord, when they hear the words of thy mouth. Yea, thee shall sing the ways of the Lord, for great is the glory of the Lord. Though the Lord be high, yet had he respect unto the lowly, but the proud he knoweth afar of. That though I walk in the midst of trouble, Thou wilt revive me. Yeah. Thou shalt st stretch forth thy hand against the wrath of my enemies, and thy right hand shall save me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. The Lord will perfect that which concerneth me. Thy mercy, O Lord, endureth forever. For the sake not works of thy own hands, in the reading of the word, have been blessed. Amen. We're, gonna, we're not going to prolong the service because I can't make it happen, saints. I know that's right. It's only the Holy Spirit. And I hope you receive 
what you came out for, please never go home the same way you came. Because what you need, God's got it. He got it. He's got everything you need, saints. And I just encourage you to trust God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Victory is ours. I don't care what it looked like. See victory ahead. Hallelujah. Victory ahead. Hallelujah. Faith. Faith is we don't see it, but we believe it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And how many got the victory in here this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We went to a funeral before we sing our last song. We went to a funeral, Elder and I, yesterday. A friend of ours lost her sister. We had to drive all the way down to exit three. And the preacher was preaching, and it, the service was kind of slow, you know. When people don't know the Christ, it's a different kind of service. Yes, it is. And so when he said, how many in here got the Holy Ghost? Everybody. I happened to turn around. Everybody raised their hands. Everybody. Or said, everybody raised their hands. And when we got outside, going to our cars, most of them, a lot of them was lighting up with their cigarettes. And I said, see, that just, people don't know who Jesus is, saints. But thank God, I know who Jesus is. Hallelujah. I know him. Hallelujah. I know him for myself. Hallelujah. So saints, be encouraged. Walk with God. Hallelujah. Don't look at this, the natural eye. Because the natural eye, it looks crazy. When you look through the net, look through the eyes of God. Yes. Look through the eyes of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See it when you don't see it. Hallelujah. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. I don't see it, but guess what? I believe it's coming to pass. I'm sick, but I believe I'm healed. Hallelujah. I got a problem walking, but I believe I'm walking right. Hallelujah. I don't have a job, but I see myself with a job. That's faith. That's victory. Don't walk in defeat, saints, but victory is ours in Jesus' name. Come on, saints. Help us sing this last song. The song says, victory is mine. Victory, victory is mine. Oh, victory, victory today is mine. I don't say this. I don't say this. Yes. Get me behind me. Victory. Oh, victory today is mine. Say victory. Victory, victory is mine. Oh, victory. victory is mine. Victory today. Victory today is mine. Say I don't say this.
Say I don't say that. Get me behind. Say I don't say that. Get me. Say I don't say that. Get me. Say I don't say that. Get me. Say I don't say that. Get me behind. Say I don't say that. Get me behind. Come on, clap your hands right here. Put your hands on.
celebrating that history. You know, people, and, 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 and the slaves, hallelujah, when they were working on the plantation, hallelujah, yeah, the masters had guns on them. They were beating them because they weren't picking cotton pads or not. But all of a sudden, one of the slaves would get to sing it. Hallelujah. And as they begin to sing, talking about Jesus. Hallelujah. God sent the power there and gave the slave strength. Why he was being beat, he was still picking cotton. Look at us today. Look at us today. Hallelujah. We don't know how to praise him. We don't want to praise him. If you sit there and wait for Jesus to come down from the right hand and get you up out your seat, you will never praise him. You will never dance for him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. There's something about the anointing of God's music. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. If you let it, hallelujah, it'll move you. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The anointing breaks the yoke. Holy Ghost is not going to get you up out your seat and make you dance. Hallelujah. That's not his job. Jesus said that it will lead you and guide you through all your understanding. It didn't say they're going to make you get up out of seat. Hallelujah. We feel the power of God. Glory to God. Something about the power of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Huh? Glory to God. You got to want to be free. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, let's give the Lord a hand clap. In the sanctuary. We honor him. Glory to God. Tell you by your heads with me. Almighty. The creator of all life. Father, thank you today. Thank you for this now, your people. Thank you, Lord, for allowing us to assemble ourselves once again. In this month, February, the first Sunday of 2023, where it has been designated a Black History Month. Father, would you, in the name of Jesus, the word, Lord, the word that I have put in my heart, Lord, use me. Hallelujah. Lord, burp the word that's bubbling down on the inside of me. Push your word. Use this vessel. Glorify thyself. In Jesus' name, I acknowledge the Holy Spirit who lives and dwells in me. Hallelujah. I ask the Lord, Jesus Christ, Consume my life, Lord. 
consume my life for your purpose. For your purpose. I pray that everything that I do in Jesus' name be accomplished by the power of your might, by the power of your will, by the Holy Ghost to produce much fruit that glorifies you in Jesus' name. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I honor him this morning. I give glory to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Don't you know that if it was not for Jesus Christ, that God the Father wouldn't hear none of us? Hallelujah. I want you to understand this thing. It's all here about Jesus. I, 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 I tell people, hallelujah, it's not what you do, but it's how you do it when it comes to honoring God. Before he accepts anything from us, you have to be blood washed. You have to be blood covered. Glory to God. Because everything that we touch, hallelujah, when you haven't been washed in the blood, it's tainted. Glory to God. You are a germ spreader. Glory to God. Just like when we go to the hospital now, first thing they ask you to do, what do they give you? They give you a mask. Glory to God. So that you won't spread germs. You put on gloves when they touch you. So you won't spread germs. This is the role. That's how it's so important that we have blood covering. Glory to God. He covers us because we have been washed in his blood. Blood covering. We go to Jesus. Glory to God. And Jesus can go to the Father on our behalf. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. My wife and I, she had told what happened on yesterday. And you know, people go to church and they think they say, why? Because the preacher is not preaching the unadulterated truth, the word of God. Glory to God. That's why it's been a great fall in a way. And, and the Bible tells us of the great fall in a way. Glory to God. You got people that come to church every Sunday and think they in in the right place. But they're not. And I was, I told Sister Grant, it's just a, amazing how the people that don't know the truth can have some of the prettiest edifices, churches, in Jesus' name. But yet the truth is not being told. We were sitting up there in the service yesterday, and hallelujah. We were sitting in front of people. You know, I'm not being gossipy or nothing, and I wasn't listening, but you couldn't help but hear. You got people that come to church just to see and talk and go back and spread gossip. You want to find out some stuff? Come to the church, but you go to church in the right mind. God will open your eyes and let you see some stuff that you think, what is this? Hallelujah. And then when the preacher got up and preached, they were the first one that got up and hollered, hallelujah. Talking all of that damnable stuff. 
Last Sunday, Elder, Law, uh, Elder Dixon preached, and he preached a powerful sermon. Hallelujah, people rejoiced in the Lord. Glory to God. Prophecy went forth. And everybody felt good. Hallelujah. But there's two sides to this thing. Hallelujah. Sometimes trouble comes to open up your eyes and get you right. Because he wishes no one to be lost. I have two verses of scripture we're going to read in your hearing this morning. And I'm going to read them and get into this. I want you to listen to the scriptures and then we're going to try to break it down just a little bit so you can get a little bit more understanding. I, I, I don't have it all. He didn't give it to me all. God is not going to give no one person everything. Hallelujah. Because you know the little bit of power that we get sometimes, we overdo that. Hallelujah. And I want to say this, and my heart went out to that young man that was beat to death. Yeah, he was beat to death. And, and, and see, God had to step in. That was a God intervening into man's affairs to bring it to the atmosphere. Because that was not the first time that something like that, that those guys had done. And when trouble comes and you make people look bad, you know what they do. They begin to investigate. They, they investigate and they find out that, hey, he had a troublesome background. One of the officers, they found out that when he was in college, he was ahead of one of these sororities, and they had that type of hazing and roughness in that fraternity. And you know what the fraternity did in turn? They done kicked them out now because it brought a bad name to the fraternity. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Everybody, glory to God, that say they walked away is not walking the way. Hallelujah. You, 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 you look. Hallelujah. And trouble and sin affects everybody. Starts in the immediate family. And then it spreads abroad and touches everyone. Why? Because we were all born from the same blood. And it touches everybody. Hallelujah. My scripture is coming from Matthew 7th chapter verses number 13 and 14. When you have that, I want everybody in the building. We're going to get on one accord. When we say one accord, the other, everything we do, we do together. Hallelujah. Glory. I want to do this a little old-fashioned way. When I came up, you have the King James Version, Elder? I want you to read verses number 13 and 14. And when you get to every end of sentence, just stop because I'm going to repeat it. Okay? I want y'all to listen. Go ahead, Elder. Enter ye 
men at the straight gate. Go ahead. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leadeth to destruction and many there be which go into that act. Because straight is the gate huh, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life and few there be that find it. Read that again, Elder. And not that, that entire last sentence. Uh, because straight is the gate and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life. And few there be that find it. And few that be that find it. And few that be find it. And few that be find it. You may be seated. Huh. Huh. Subject. The straight gate. The wide gate. How do you want to say it? The narrow gate. You can even, if you want to, turn, turn that, change that word gate to path. Straight path or narrow path. Why did Jesus, what did Jesus mean when he said narrow is the gate? He was telling the people that the narrow gate is a difficult gate. It's a narrow gate. The phrase narrow is, is gate is, 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 is fairly understandable. I, 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 have you ever tried to even get into a door pathway. There's something stopping that door from opening up. And you'll try to squeeze through it. You, you know what I'm saying? Is you're pushing it. Hallelujah. And you can't get through it because you got to do something. You got to do some work, honey, to get through that narrow passage. It ain't easy. Hallelujah. Can, you, can, can, can I take you down to my hometown this morning? Back down in the hills of West Virginia. Thank you, Jesus. You know, I, 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 I lived on a dirt road. Glory to God. And I lived in the house that I lived in. Set back behind a mountain. And there was woods all up and down that mountain. Glory to God. And if I wanted to get to my granddaddy's house, I had to go up through the woods because, see, granddaddy had made a path, hallelujah, to get to his house. Mm -hmm. And if I wanted to get to granddaddy's house, I had to follow that path. Hallelujah, it was a path. When granddaddy got old, he, he didn't travel that path a lot. And so the bushes and, and the weeds uh, grow with the God. Can you picture that? <laughs> Begin to grow. And the path was covered. Uh, and if I wanted to get to granddaddy's house, uh, I had to, to do some searching, uh, to do some looking. Uh, to try to find some element that I was on the right track. Hallelujah. See, we, we get on the right track. Huh? Glory to God. Uh, and we stop walking in the path uh, that will take you uh, to righteousness. Uh, we deviate off the path. Uh, am I making sense this morning? Glory to God. Uh, and thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah. 
it says that the phase narrow is the gate is fairly easily understood and a, a narrow gate is hard to pass through <laughs> than the one that is in wide. Only a few people can go through that narrow gate as one. I remember, glory to God, I got a, I was in the car and I got a phone call from one of my nieces. She was at the mall and Go with the God. She was shopping. And they had a gun. There come some shooters that come through that shooting. And you know what happens when a, a lot of people is in a mall and some shooting going on. Everybody try to get through that one door. Why? Because that's the right door to get out of. Go with the God. Hallelujah. Everybody want to get through it. Hallelujah. But they don't want to do the right thing to get through that narrow gate. Jesus is telling, because this was right after the Sermon on the Mount. He was telling his, hallelujah, people. It doesn't really say if it wasn't the disciples or if it was the people. But it really don't say. But it said that he was telling the people, Jesus is saying that the difficult is the way which we lead to life. Difficulty lead, will lead you to everlasting life. Jesus was explaining how hard being a Christian really is. Hallelujah. I used to think Elder huh, oh man it's easy. Honey but you got to put in some work. Hallelujah. Because if your heart is right, you don't mind putting in the work that's going to change you to something great. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. You know when the, 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 the picture that's being painted is not of a man standing at the crossroads. Some people paint the picture as if it's a scene where they had a crossroads what man faces is a single gate. Not two gates. When we are born, we are born in the world. The only gate that man knows about is the wide gate. Hallelujah. Why? Because the wide gate I mean, it, come, thou may come. The wide gate, everybody can go to the wide gate. You ever notice when it's warm and pretty outside, you got a narrow door here, the church doors, and people are all around, everywhere. Hallelujah. Looking, they ain't looking over here. They're looking at the liquor store. Uh, go with it, God. I, I, this is the wide gate. It's easy to get messed up into that. Glory to God. You get caught up in that wide gate. All them people that you could be standing and you could get pushed in just for being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Come on and say thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. The two gates. Hallelujah. The narrow gate and the wide gate. Hallelujah. There are two ways. It's the easy way and it's the hard way. Hallelujah. There are two ends. The broad way ends in destruction and death. Every person as they walk along the broad way and you can look at him, he's perishing as he walks. And yet he thinks he's living. The narrow way ends in life. That is in the fullness of life. And the highest idea of life. Glory to God. Went to the store this morning. My wife got 
and donuts for the children for Sunday school. And so I, I asked her, I said, honey, get, get me a, a, a regular cup of coffee and, and two donuts. And so as she went and she paid, it was a little, it was a little window. They called it the drive through window. There ain't no great big wonder. Y'all have been to drive to? Ain't no great big wonder, is it? Why? Uh uh. Everybody can't get to that little bit of wonder, honey. Man protects what's there. But when he don't care nothing about your life, he got a great big gate for you to get in. So she gave and paid for the product. And what I'm saying is, is that we have to pay. There's a price that we have to pay to walk through that narrow gate. When I was in the world, glory to God, there would be 15 of us. Out of the 15, ain't but one got some money. They go get a bottle of Swiss up, a Thunderbird, and they bring it back, and we all drink from the same bottle. See, it's easy. See, the devil know how to get you. The glory to God. And we all drunk off a thunderbird and switched up. Glory to God. On our way to hell and think we live in the light. Hallelujah. Are you listening? I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Then, glory to God. There are two travelers. You know, it never was intended to be all these different ways and things. But see, man messed up. But see, there are two travelers on this highway of life. The wise and the unwise. Which one are you? The unwise are many. You, 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 you ever notice wherever there is Unrighteousness. There are a lot of people. I got to say this. Sunday morning here, there's prayer here. I want you to, I'm, 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 I'm just drawing a scenario. We say that we love God and only two people here at the altar sometimes. You got to pay a price for salvation. This morning at practice, I was upstairs preparing the communion. And this morning, as they were laying, going forth before the Lord, looked like something struck me in the heart. By y'all, hit me. It's important that they do what they do. Hallelujah. As I left the church here last night, you know, God does not allow us to see everything. But if he would take off and put on our spiritual eyes, you would see demons walking up and down this street. That prayer here is important. You don't know how many demons are trying to get in here and snuck through the door cracked. But they came in this morning. Glory to God. And they began to pray. And, and that's why I was hit. Y'all, prayer is important. It keeps your spiritual awareness alert. Nobody wants to pray. Why? Because it's work. But it's necessary. Hallelujah. The wise are many. Lay into the wide gate. Ain't no problem. Come on in. Come on in. Pushing them, come on in. Come on in. Glory to God. Ain't supposed to have but 2,000 people in the building. They got 4,000. Come on in. Then the next thing you know, the stage or something doesn't fail. Hallelujah. They don't care. Why is the gate? Glory to God. They enter the wide gate, traveling the broad way. 
the easy way and end up perishing and experiencing destruction. Twice a few. Are you wise? Glory to God. The wise. Remember when I was in Vietnam? We had to go on a search and destroy mission. Now here we are in a foreign land. Hallelujah. Fighting the enemy. Thank you, Jesus. They know more about that land than we do. They know more about their past than we do. Glory to God. And here I am, scared to death. Glory to God. But I thank God that I knew Jesus. I didn't know what I was saying. But I had sense enough to say, Lord, is it my time to die yet? As I go down this path that's heavily booby trap. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Looking, trying to see something that don't make sense. That's in this path that can blow up. And if it blows up, it's going to blow me up. And everybody else that around me. Oh, glory to God. Oh, Jesus. I call on Jesus. Oh, glory to God. To show me the way direct me my God I'm here Lord I'm moving the bush I'm moving the rocks keep me Jesus on this narrow and straight gate oh glory to God oh hallelujah oh hallelujah ah the wise are few the few hallelujah they search Jesus said knock and it shall open seek and you shall find what are you looking for are you looking for the wide gate are you looking for the narrow gate when you come to these doors, these doors are narrow. The word of God is being preached. You can't live in a kind of way. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Oh, yes. They travel the narrow and the hard way. It's hard. Hallelujah. Well, Thank you, Jesus. Sometimes you can go to your cupboard. <clears throat> Open up the cupboard. And the cupboard is bare. What do we do? Hallelujah. Save people say, oh, Lord. Glory to God. Lord, I, I trust you, Lord. I, I believe in you, Lord. Lord, you say I've never seen the righteous forsaken. No seed bag bread. You call on Jesus. And what does Jesus do? From out of the clear blue sky. Here come. Hallelujah. Just bear with me. Superwoman. Superwoman, Sister Greta. Y'all don't experience that. Hallelujah. She knock on the door. And she got some groceries for you. God will take care of you. Uh, even when you're going through. Uh, oh, hallelujah. Uh, ain't he all right? Uh, he's good. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, uh, then, the two decisions. Hallelujah. One decision takes no effort. The other decision, how did you, you got to seek to find. You got to put in some effort. You got to put in some energy. Glory to God. The wide gate requires no decision to enter. Mm. That makes sense. Just come on in. Hallelujah. Person stands before it automatically. Glory to God. By being in the world, it's automatic. Glory to God. Because you were born and shaped in iniquity. Glory to God. It's easy 
Glory to God. We see it. Hallelujah. Because we think that's what we want. Hallelujah. But that's leading you down to a path of destruction. Glory to God. Christ does not say to a person to enter in. He has to enter in. You can walk by and look. Glory to God. You can walk by and look. What do you have to go in for? Hallelujah. You ain't got to go in there. Whenever I see a crowd, Lord, how much? You better put your PF flyers on. Get away from it. Glory to God. To enter to the gate requires no energy, no search, no commitment. You can't have no commitment. Just be there. And you are part of it. A person is there facing the already. It already happened. It's already happened. And all he has to do is to begin his journey in life and follow it broad. And the easy course. Hallelujah. Y'all remember Lot? Glory to God. Lot was Abraham's nephew. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And Lot had just as much as Abraham had. Y'all remember that story? And so when sometimes, see, the things of this world can put a wedge in between you and the person you love, a decision had to be made. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The decision, oh, glory to God, being Abraham, the type of man that he was. He was a godly man. He was a man who feared God. Oh, glory to God. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, he said a lot we can't keep arguing and bickering and going on. Glory to God. Your herd getting mixed in with my herd because God is blessing. Oh, glory. Your sheep getting in my sheep. Glory to God. And then, hallelujah, we're going to have to separate. And I'm going to give you the first choice. Good and evil don't go together. You got to separate. Oh, glory to God. Abraham told Lot, say, you look, and anywhere you look, you can have. I'll go in the opposite direction. Glory to God. Lot got up and looked, and he looked down. And he's seen all that green grass. Y'all know what I'm talking about. He looked and he's seen the waters. It was easy. He didn't have to do no work. Abraham took the higher ground. The land that he took, it was a rocky ground. It had no grass. But he knew who he was serving. He knew that if I put the work in, God will prevail. Oh, glory to God. Y'all know the story. Y'all know the story. Hallelujah. Lot went down, pitched his tent. Now, he didn't pitch it at first in Sodom and Gomorrah. He pitched it. He pitched his tent on the outside. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You know how sometimes we park our cars. Glory to God. By a place where we ain't got no business. And you're debating. Should I go in? Or shouldn't I go in? Hallelujah. You keep standing there. And sooner or later... You in there. Oh, glory to God. But Lot thought he was slick. Oh, glory to God. He moved his tent a little closer to the entrance. 
Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. He got a little closer. And the people from the city, that damnable city, began to come in. Hallelujah. How you doing? Brother Lot. How you doing? Oh, glory to God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Trying to be your friend. But they're sucking you in. They're sucking you in. Because you got something that they want. And they'll do anything to get what you want. Oh, glory to God. And then the next thing you know, Lot the mood his house, his family, in the very middle of the city. Glory to God. You can't, hallelujah, live any kind of way. You can't live the way the world lives. And say that you are God. There's a requirement. You got to keep working. You got to keep searching. Hallelujah. Mm. Look how many people the Lord have brought out of the world. Begin to clean them up. Now they're they doing better, but you ain't doing great. They think that they're ready to go out and get their friends, get their relatives. And bring them back to the church. And what happens? They get stuck right back out there. Why? You're not ready yet. Glory to God. You got to travel the same path all the time that got you on the right track, the narrow track. The Bible says every once in a while. You'll see somebody traveling down that right path. It's not easy. Jeremiah, I'm closing. 21 and 8 says, Behold, I set, I have set before you the way of life. And the way of death. Two. Two gates. Two ways. Hallelujah. Two of the wise and unwise. Two decisions. It's all about two. So which one are you going to choose? And then you go to Jeremiah. I'm sorry, Joshua. Make it plain and simple. 24 and 15. Choose you this day whom ye will serve. Are you going to serve the easy way? Or are you going to go the right way, the hard way? Because see, to get see, you didn't get this way overnight. So it, it takes some effort. It takes some energy. It takes time. Hallelujah. Well, what am I saying? I'm not saying that every time I'm here at the church, uh, whatever you should be here, but spend some quality time with God. Pray. Because don't you know, the devil, even though we're saved, the devil is still on our track. One thing you can say about him, he don't give up. And have you ever thought about that? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
I rebuke that spirit in the name of Jesus. Ah! The power of the Holy Ghost come against that spirit of disobedience. Ow! The blood of Jesus. Hallelujah! Jesus. Choose this day whom ye will serve. The wide gate or path or the narrow gate. And when you read that script, you will find out that Jesus is telling us that it's not going to be easy. And you see who it's coming from? The one who went through everything to bring us back to God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I'm just concentrating. I want you to concentrate on what was just said. And what you just heard, hallelujah, the gate of life. And see, it's letting us know that everybody is not going to make it in. But those who want to make it in can make it in. And right before my closing prayer, you have to understand and you have to know the all-knowing wise God. Hallelujah. And he won't leave you ignorant if you study the word. Hallelujah. Understand the power of his spirit that dwells in us. Hallelujah. If you love me, then you'll keep my commandment. Hallelujah. <laughs> I love my wife. I do. And I'm, I'm glad she stuck with me when I was in the world. I was smoking. And she was steady getting on me. Oh, this smoke ain't hurting you. Sometimes we don't understand the effects of sin. But I loved her. And when you love something, you will give up something. When you love, you have to give up something to gain something, gain something better. When you give up the world, you gain the most richest asset that there ever was. And you've got to understand that. Glory to God. Hallelujah. I gave up cigarettes. But it was God using her. Hallelujah. Glory to God. So what am I saying? If you're smoking, stop smoking. Stop smoking that, I call it skunk piss. Because that's what it smells like. It's talking about make you feel good. It make you feel good temporarily. God gave us everything that we need, honey. Don't you know that if he had a, said that, that we needed that, he that gave it to us. You got this preacher down in Atlanta, Georgia, want to grow some of that stuff. Hallelujah. And you have heard me say this, in order to get something that you never had before, you got to give up something. Because walking with Jesus is not easy. 
and you can't come to him and, ge and be in his presence any kind of way. You can't bring sin in. That's why he cleansed us. That's why we are washed with the blood. Father, we come to say thank you, Lord, for my understanding. By knowing that the world cannot see the narrow gate. They are spiritually blind. And if it's not put before them, they can't see it because they don't want to put no energy. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. For putting the right people in all of our lives. Thank you, Lord, for putting the right church in our vision. Oh, glory to God. Opening up our eyes to the spiritual things that would lead us to eternal happiness and glory. Bless your people. Bless your people. Bless your people. And glorify thyself the more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Come on and give the Lord a hand clap. They are blinded and can't see the way. So that's why living your life is important because they can't see Jesus, but they see us. Now, I'm not talking about you going up and say, do you know Jesus? And you just got to finish smoking reefer or some cigarette. You, you, you can't do that. that. You know, I felt so ashamed yesterday. Hallelujah. But see, when people are blinded and they don't know, they don't know. But it's up to us. It's up to us to show the world that he can change your life. That he can renew you. All you have to do is want it. That's all it takes. You got to want this thing, honey. Glory to God. You got to want it. Man, I want it so bad. I'm going to stop smoking. I'm going to stop going to the club. I'm going to stop fornicating. I'm going to stop committing adultery. Stop lying. Stop cursing. I want this thing. I want this thing. He gave you the power. The Holy Ghost is not going to make you. You are aware. Your awareness of who he is. Holy Ghost ain't going to make you do nothing. You got to want this thing. In the legion, now you ain't supposed to do that. But it ain't going to put no knife through your throat. Don't you do that. I'm going to cut your throat. Don't work like that. You got to want this thing. You got to want it till you can taste it. Hallelujah. Have you ever tasted righteousness? The Bible says, oh, taste and see. Huh? That the Lord is good. Hallelujah. God is still knocking. If he's knocking at your heart, don't turn your back on him. Hallelujah. God is available. The wonder of opportunity. The door of opportunity is still here. Why is that? 
because the Spirit is still here. But one day, it's not. It's not going to be here. We thank those that are listening on the airways and pray that something had been said that would prick the power of God's word. It should prick your heart. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want all of the young children to line them up over here. Just come on and bring them. Up. Come right over here. Yeah, bring them over there. We, we're going to move them. Okay.
I, I want the young people to make sure you get other faces. It's important to, to, to get his number and he get your number. Uh, uh, trust is developed that way. Amen. Because we're all about God's business. Okay, at this time we're going to get ready to do our communion and and I know our time is uh, 
running late, but we're going to do our communion, then we're going to lift our offering, amen, have our announcements, and then uh, we'll get out of here, amen. But go and keep the same spirit of love and peace that I feel right now. It's in here. It's, 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 it's all over. Hallelujah. Reaches, oh, and it reaches to the high, yes, mountain. Oh, yes, it does, and it flows, and it flows to. I want you to just think about the Last Supper. For Christ knew that he was getting ready to go to the cross. That he knew that someone, and he knew who it was that was going to betray him. But yet... He did not let that stop him from accomplishing the mission that he was set to do, to suffer, to bleed, to shed his blood for the remission of all of our sins. As Paul says, now in this that I declare unto you I praise you not that you come together not for the better but for the worse. For first of all, when you come together in the church, I hear that there be divisions among you and I partly believe it. For there must be also heresies among you that they which are approved may be made manifest among you. When you come together, therefore, into one place, this is not to eat the Lord's Supper. For in eating, everyone taketh before others his own supper. And one is hungry, and another is drunken. What? Have you not houses to eat and to drink in? Or despise ye the church of God? Shame them that have not. What shall I say to you? Shall I praise you in this? I praise you not. For I have received of the Lord that which also I deliver unto you. That the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm sorry, that the Lord Jesus, in the same night in which he 
was betrayed, took bread. And when he had given thanks, break it and said, take, eat. This is my body, which is broken for you. This do in remembrance of me. And after the same manner also he took the cup. When he had supped, saying, this cup is the New Testament in my blood. This do ye, often as ye drink it in remembrance of me. Shall he come? Wherefore, whosoever shall eat this bread, drink this cup of the Lord unworthily, shall be guilty of the body and blood of the Lord. But let a man examine himself, and so let him eat of that bread, drink of that cup. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. For this cause, Many are weak and sickly among you, and many sleep. For if we would judge ourselves, we would not be judged. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Therefore, my brethren, when ye come together to eat, tarry one for another. And if any man hunger, let him eat at home, that ye come not together unto condemnation. And the rest will I set in order when I come. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. I sing, oh, precious is that flow that makes me white as snow. I said there's no other help. I know nothing but the blood of Jesus. I said, what can wash up away my sins? There's nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can make me Whole again, nothing but the blood of Jesus. I said, oh, precious is that flow, oh, that makes me white as snow, and there's no other help I know there is nothing but the blood of Jesus for my pardon this I see nothing but the blood of Jesus for my cleansing this is my plea. There is nothing but the blood of Jesus. 
Oh, precious. Oh, that makes me white as snow, and there's no other help I know. There is nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood. Oh, there's nothing but the blood. The body of our Lord Jesus Christ that was broken for you. Take, eat ye all of it until you do show the Lord's death till he comes. The blood of our Lord Jesus Christ that was shed for you. Take, drink ye all of it until you do show the Lord's death till he comes. Nothing but the blood, healing in the blood, there is strength in the blood, there is power in the blood, oh, everything we need is in the blood, there is nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood, nothing but the blood. Nothing but the blood of Jesus. Amen, amen. amen, amen. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. 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 Oh yes. Nothing but the blood. Hallelujah. It's offering time in the sanctuary. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I said it's offering time in the sanctuary. Amen. This is our first Sunday of February. This is the greatest month of the year, February. <laughs> and we're asking the saints of God to double up on your offering on this first Sunday of this month. Because you already have your tithes set out. Just double up if you can, if you can. In Jesus' name, we're going to ask that you come in the direction of the usher. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, God, we give you thanks for all you've done and all you're doing. We're asking your blessing be upon this offering that it be used, O oh God, for the upbuilding of thy kingdom. For these blessings and all of the blessings we ask in thy name alone. In Jesus' name. Everyone say amen. Say amen again. At this time, we're going to ask Sister Mazetta if she would come and give us our announcements. Let's receive her with a hearty amen. amen. Say amen again. God bless you, church. God bless you, church. 
God bless you, church. We thank God for that wonderful word on today. The straight gate, the narrow gate, the wide gate. And we know we have to walk worthy to make it in. The straight gate, the narrow gate, the wide gate. We still have to present ourselves worthy. We know that we can't live any old type of way. We can't do what the word do. I'm reminded of that song when Pastor was preaching. I'm going to get my life together. I'm starting all over again. I'm going to clean up what I messed up. And I'm going to walk right through that door. We have to clean up ourselves if we're going to make it into heaven. It's not about the people around you. It's a personal walk. It's about what you do in Jesus' name. So, Pastor, we thank you for that word on this week that will help us to walk worthy on this week. We want to thank God for everything that was said and done on today. We want to thank God even for communion. I love when it's communion time. Time just to remember the God that I serve. We know that Tuesday night is our prayer and Bible study. So we ask everyone to please come out. Come out and get what the Lord has for you. It's not the same as praying in your car, praying at your desk. But when you come here, you is able to, to cry out to God and tell him all about your troubles. So please come out on Tuesday night. We are here at 630. And directly after that, we go into our Bible study. Let's also remember on next Sunday, pastor is asking you to invite a friend. Love Sunday. Invite somebody that wants to come to church because people want to come to church. People want to get saved. They don't know where to go, who to trust because there's so much church hurt out there. But we are a body of Christ that loves. We are a body of Christ that helps. So please, don't tell them to come to your church. Just tell them to come see Jesus. Amen. We want to remind everyone that the prayer line will be open on Wednesday, we know myself and Sister Tracy, maybe a few others had a little trouble getting on on this past Wednesday. Thank God for Sister Carol for patching me through that I wasn't able to miss on that prayer on Wednesday. It was a wonderful prayer. So please, we're going to switch over to the prayer line here at the church, okay? We're going to switch over. We will be getting that number, and we will be sending that out for you on this week. We will be back on prayer at 730 on this Wednesday. Amen. The devil can't stop nothing that God is doing. We want to thank God for that. Let's also remember our of a fundraiser here at the house, please drop a little something in there, whatever the Lord placed on your heart. The thought for the week is, God has, God has been preparing you over time for this day. Let your shout of faith inside you be louder than the shout of fear on the outside. Don't look at what it is or look at what it's going through. It's a lot going on that can disturb you. Even in your own life, you can get tired, you get worn down. But when you put it into the master's hands, little becomes much. So let's continue to trust God and just trust and know that he is able to do anything but fail. At this time, we turn it back over to the hands of the pastor. Amen. Yes, we don't. If you have a presentation, no matter what Sunday it is, please see Sister Greta, and we will squeeze you in, and you can do your presentation. If you want to write something, remember, Black history doesn't be, it didn't start and end with the past. We are still making history today, and many of us have talent. Some of you can sing, some of you can write, some of you can act. Whatever it is, let her know and we will make sure that you will be able to do your presentation, okay? Amen. 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 Thank you, Sister Mazetta. When we went to that film yesterday, we, made, we, were, we were made aware that the funeral home that was, who had that person body was the oldest funeral home in the nation. They were black. And they, you know, I'm saying, you know, we are still like making history. Amen. Give yourselves a pop. Amen. Um, I, I want to say something. 
And uh, I, I believe in excellence. We're striving for excellence. And what I'm saying is, uh, it was a wonderful prayer, but I couldn't get where I wanted to get because of, you know, so this is, this is the procedure. When we go into prayer, uh, Elder Faison or whoever he has leads the prayer, I want every phone muted except the one who is in charge of leading the prayer. All right? We even got some calls back saying that they enjoyed the prayer, but it was kind of, you know, you know, it, uh, rumba rumba. And, and it really was. It really was. It really was. So, and I know we were going there, but what we can do is we can mute that. We can stop that. And everybody can get their breakthrough. And then once the prayer is over, then we can uh, unmute it. Amen? Can we do that? Amen. I think I'm just sitting here thinking. Last Sunday, y'all left me, and those police officers came. <laughs> yeah. And I was saying, my uh, announcer forgot to even tell, and I forgot, I was upstairs getting ready to leave in the door. I said, oh, Lord, when I saw the police officers. Yeah, they'll be here, they'll be here next Sunday. They're going to come and they're going to speak. There's a lot of jobs that's on the market. And they wanna, yeah. And, no, y'all weren't here. No. So they'll be here on uh, this Sunday, this, this Sunday coming. Okay, and they're going to tell what, what's going on. Okay? That's the best way to do it, to get it from the horse's mouth. Amen? All right. You know... The Lord is soon to come. And I don't know if he's coming an hour from now. I don't know if he's coming next week. I don't know if he's coming next year. But he's coming. And in the process, babies are still going to be born. And we have, to, we have to train them up. So at this time... I'm going to have, and we're going we're gonna to do what we're supposed to do. Amen. And we're going to have our young people to start dismissing us, dismissing us and get into practice to speak. Amen. So can I get two volunteers? Who wants to volunteer? And don't be ashamed. Speak in the mic. Lord, we thank you for bringing us here on this Sunday. We ask you to protect us until we come back. We thank you for... We thank you for the anointing Amen. and... We love you. Lord, we thank you for this Sunday service. Thank you for having the thank you for having Pastor here. Thank you for having our first lady here. Thank you for having Mother Bash here. Thank you. Thank you for what you have did for us all, all, for all these years. Thank you. Thank you for what you've provided us with. Pray to you every night and every day, and we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. amen. Let's give the Lord a hand clap. God bless you.